everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film my long-awaited Sephora haul. As you can see, I've done tons of shopping in Sephora while I was in Asia. I can't remember obviously exactly which country I bought stuff in, but I went to Malaysia, Bali and Singapore. So I know that I bought half of it in Malaysia and half in Singapore. This stuff actually weighs a ton. These are actually three massive bags full of goodies. I'm pretty sure they weigh around five or six kilograms, which is ridiculous, but of course it has to be done because unfortunately we don't have a Sephora here. I would also like to point out this video isn't sponsored by Tarte. It may look like it once I start opening up everything. God, I wish it was, but it really isn't. I just went a little bit Tarte crazy and I tried my best to just buy things that are not available in the UK. So without further ado, I'm just going to go into the first bag in no particular order and show you what I bought. I actually can't even remember what I bought myself because it's been about seven or eight weeks since I first went there and I've done really well to not use anything apart from two products. So first of all, I picked up the Sephora um, own brand waterproof eye makeup remover I've heard this is amazing so I just thought why not I'll pick it up in the full size I'm really excited to give that one a go because I really liked the long com by Facil, and it kind of looks very similar to that and aside from the Rimmel one I don't really use any other eye makeup remover I also picked up this SPF 50 sunscreen face lotion I should have actually opened this one up when I was on holiday but I didn't um I always try and aim for 50 wherever possible and I've never really found the perfect SPF that doesn't really alter the way that my foundation um, last throughout the day. So I thought this would be a good one to try out. I also went a little bit sheet mask crazy. Let me try and see if I can show you everything all in one go. So these are all Sephora own brand, I think. Um, I got the Rose Ultra Hydrating and Brightening Face Mask. I got the Jobs Tears. Jobs Tears? I think it's like Jojoba. But I don't know how to pronounce that. Jobs Tears Lightening and Moisturising Mask. And I also picked up the Ginseng Mask. This one's for firming and toning. I also picked up this multi-pack of the Jobs Tears Eye Mask. Again, they're lightening and moisturising. So I thought, let's see if they work on lightening dark circles. This multi-pack has five pairs of masks in. And I think it was for the price of buying four or something like that. Obviously, I don't really remember the prices. I don't have the receipts in front of me and I don't remember the exchange rate in any case. So unfortunately, I can't help you out with that one. Um, but I did also pick up quite a lot of, these are all foot and, oh, hand masks as well. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought I picked up more hand ones and feet. Oh, that's a shame. Um, anyway, I picked up two of the lavender foot masks. These are for refreshing and relaxing. I picked up two in case Jas wants to do one with me because you never know. And I also picked up two of the almond ones. These are comforting and repairing. I'm not sure if they're the ones that make your skin shed, like the Korean beauty masks, but I thought I'd give them a go. I think they're like little socks that you put on and maybe you wear overnight or something. Um, they look pretty good. And I also got the avocado hand mask. I wish I'd bought more of these. In the winter, my hands tend to get really dry and they sort of crack and bleed all around the knuckles. And I just thought that might be really nice. I've tried loads of different moisturizers and hand creams. And by the time I sort of remember to use them, it's always a little bit too late. And they just feel really uncomfortable and look quite unsightly. So hopefully that helps when the weather starts to get a bit cooler. Not that I'm wishing for that anytime soon. <laughs> okay, I've taken everything out of the bag so there's not that much rummaging around. And I've kind of remembered a little um, Sephora trick or tip that I thought I'd share with you guys and actually surprisingly there's not that much stuff in here it's just loads of palettes which obviously take up a lot of room but anyway the tip that I really wanted to share with you is something that I do in America quite a lot I didn't really think it was a thing anywhere else um so our first stop was Malaysia and we we're walking through this huge shopping center I believe it was KLCC shopping center just in case you go to Malaysia and we walked past this tourist information desk and they had this big sign saying sign up for the tourist privilege card there was no one at the desk so we thought we'd go and ask and the guy said if you just sign up for this free card all they wanted was like an email address and like your passport or driving license just to prove that you don't live in Malaysia and you are a tourist they give you this privilege card which gives you discount in loads of shops now we weren't really planning on shopping so I quickly just sort of scanned through the list of shops you get the discount in some shops and restaurants too and the first thing I spotted was Sephora so I was like we are getting this card one way or another <laughs> and luckily Jas had his driving license on him so he got this card and you only really get five percent off but when you spend like a hundred two hundred pounds in Sephora that's quite a lot of money like you could save about a tenner twenty quid I don't know so of course I went a little bit crazy in Sephora not that I wouldn't have anyway so yeah the first thing I spotted as soon as we walked in was a massive 
tart stand and they also had a promotion going on and it was something like if you buy two items from their new collection which was like the pro palette or the pro glow uh, which obviously i bought and some other stuff that was in that collection you get this little goodie bag for free and it's one of the liquid lipsticks i think and you get this tiny little tartist lip paint in the shade rose or rose i'm not sure but this is the shade of it and you also get a sample of their lights camera lashes mascara so i thought that was pretty good because i was going to buy stuff from that collection anyway so i'll show you what i picked up i really hope it hasn't smashed because i haven't obviously checked it since i've got that oh it looks like something might have broken how beautiful is this though seriously it's such nice packaging it's gonna get filthy everything always does but it's so nice this is the tartist pro glow palette this is what it looks like i'll take this plastic out the way so you can see it properly so there we go it opens up like this it's got two mirrors on either side and it's basically just a contour and highlight palette but just at the bottom here i think this is a cream contour and a powder contour shade and the four shades at the top are all highlighters i'm really excited about this because i don't really have a highlight palette I don't really have a big highlighter collection in general so I'm super happy with this and even more so that it's managed to survive about nine flights because I think this was one of the first things that I bought also I've just noticed this it looks like I stole it I promise I didn't that's really annoying actually anyway moving on this is the Tartist Pro palette I picked this up in Singapore because every Sephora I went into it was out of stock so when I got to my very last country the first thing I did was hunt down a Sephora because I just thought I need this palette before I leave and I don't want to order it in the UK. This is what it looks like. Again, it's got that gorgeous packaging. This one isn't like, not velvety. The other one was like really soft material. This is just plastic so it won't get as dirty. I really appreciate that actually. Let's see. This one survived too. Oh, ow. Trap my finger. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is why I travel with tons of bubble wrap. I never want anything to break. So this is what the palette looks like. It's so beautiful. I'm actually really excited to try out this shade. It looks like it's kind of got um, a brown undertone to it and it's like a shimmery greeny jade color it's like a sort of mix of green and brown i think that will look really nice all over the lid so normally i'm not a fan of massive palettes for personal use but what i really like about it is that it's mostly matte shades which is basically all i wear there are a few shimmers that you can play around with and for people that are just starting out with eyeshadow or well, they aren't great with knowing what colors to mix together or they just wear one shade all over the lid and they want to experiment a bit more i love the tart sort of lay out their products in a logical order so what they've done is every single row in this palette are colors that you can wear all together and i think that's really great so you can create like a really nice sort of neutral eye makeup look with the top row and if you want to add a little bit of shimmer of course you've got that color at the end um but of course you can mix and match as you want i think what i love most is it has mostly neutrals and then it has a few sort of pops of color but they're totally wearable and i just oh, i love that about it so much i'm really excited to use this one actually oh yes i bought two of their mini palettes i'm obsessed with tarte this is why i had to make my little disclaimer to say that this video is not sponsored this is the tartist pro to go and this is what it looks like in all honesty i have pretty much all of these shades in various different palettes but i just don't have enough tiny palettes and you guys know me i'm all about the travel friendly packaging and i just thought it'd be really handy to have one of these because i normally just take my mac quad when i go traveling and it's a bit annoying because then obviously you're limited to mac eyeshadows which aren't really the best so i thought i'd pick up that one and also this one which i'm trying to open this is the tartlet tease palette slightly different i think this is probably one of their older ones and again i bought it for exactly the same reason it's got loads of neutrals in it perfect for when you're traveling because if you're in a hurry you can just put one color all over the lid or you can amp it up with one of the darker tones at the end add a little bit of shimmer i just think it's a great all-rounder palette and i'm really glad to have found both of these in stock in singapore because again these were sold out everywhere too so the next palette that i bought i was kind of in two minds about because it is available in the uk and i wanted it when it first came out which was probably about a year ago and i never bought it for some reason because i always heard mixed reviews and then like any other product it was sold out for ages when it came back in stock everyone went crazy for it and now i just keep seeing it everywhere so i think that's one of the main reasons i bought it because like i said it wasn't that much cheaper to buy it's just a couple of pounds cheaper and i think i got five or ten percent off in the end but i'm sure you're sick of seeing this palette everywhere too of course this is a Too faced sweet peach palette and it's actually my first ever Too faced palette 
That smell is absolutely incredible. It smells of peaches. It is so nice. I've always wanted to try Too Faced eyeshadows, but the sort of heart shapes and the cutesy packaging doesn't really appeal to me. And I wasn't that wowed by the chocolate palette. I just thought I've got all of these colours pretty much. So there was nothing that made me really want to buy it. But I absolutely love coral and peach tones. I love all the bronzy brownie shades. I absolutely adore that purple and that navy. And I've always wanted a khaki eyeshadow. I've just wanted to try one for so long. And this palette has one in it. So I'm super excited to try this one out. Oh, I also actually picked up the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Just because I got really excited that I found a colour match for myself. If you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that I have never found more than two concealers that actually cover up my dark circles and nothing really compares to my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I was really excited when I found the exact same shade in the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I believe it was in the shade Tan and I absolutely love it. It's currently in my makeup bag. Couldn't actually find it in there before I filmed this video but you'll just have to trust me that I bought it. <laughs> I also bought this Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. This was the other item that I've already used. I first bought it in Malaysia and I was super excited. I was dying to try it out because it looked like a really good colour match in the store. So I used it for a while I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I think it has got a slight pink undertone, but obviously while I was away, I had a tan and my skin wasn't how it normally is. So I do need to try it out again. But before I realized this, I went to a different Sephora and I was so excited to have found two concealers that match me. I did pick up a second one. So I just thought, Tarte's not really available in the UK aside from QVC and I just thought that if this becomes my holy grail concealer I need a backup of this. Um, I forgot to mention I picked it up in the shade D. I'm still on the fence about this concealer, not sure that I love it but I will let you guys know what I think of it once I've had a chance to use it a bit more. I really wanted to try the Shape Tape Concealer and the Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I think a lot of it is exclusive to Ulta in the US and Sephora all across Asia don't do the newer stuff that Tarte do, I think that's US only so I had to settle for that. The very last Tarte thing that I bought, again, isn't a new product. I bought one of their Amazonian clay blushes just because I hear so much stuff about them. I picked this up in the shade Blissful. I just love this really compact, sleek packaging of it. And I love anything coral, as you know. I'm going to chip my nails when I open this. And this is what it looks like. So again, it's not anything new, but I just really wanted one. What else did I pick up? Oh yeah, of course, how can I forget? I wasn't really looking for any lipsticks, but we all know that the Sephora cream lip stain liquid lipstick things are amazing. And I feel like they don't often have newer shades. I tend to sort of see the same shades over and over again. And I always think, oh, that's really nice. Oh, I've got that at home. So I was really excited to see that they've come out with about six or eight new shades. I picked up four of them. They're totally not appropriate for the season whatsoever. Um, I picked up a black because I don't have a black lipstick and I've always wanted one. These are really hard to read. Okay, so the black is number 28. I picked up number 24. Um, I think this was the colour that I wasn't that sure about. It doesn't really suit me, but it's so unlike anything that I own. It's kind of like a brick red. It's really weird. It's like an orangey, reddy, brown tone. And it's so different that I just thought, what the hell, I'll throw it into my basket. Oh no, sorry, that was number 25. That was the orangey, reddy one, 25. 28 is like a mauvey sort of brown tone. It's got more of a pink under tone and then I picked up number 26 I'm really really excited about this one after the black one because I've always wanted to wear like a deep chocolate brown lipstick with no other undertone other than black just because I see it on other people in autumn and I just think it looks absolutely incredible and I've never really found the perfect one so I picked this up and I'm super excited to try these out so while I was in Sephora I was looking at the Tarte foundations and the lady just gave me two samples of these are like little sample pots of their foundation but unfortunately it doesn't contain like every single shade so I wouldn't really know what I am but either way I've got two little samples of that if you've been to a Sephora in person you'll know that they go a little bit sample crazy especially when you spend a lot of money and I was really pleasantly surprised that in Singapore they gave me these two quarterly samples these are very generous samples I have to say one is their micellar cleansing water it's a 50 ml so I'm really excited to try this one out and I also got this feels really empty actually. A 10 ml product of their moisturising sorbet. And then Jas asked, as he always does, if he can get some samples. So he got a couple of Lab Series uh, skincare for men all-in-one face treatment samples. And I got a Benefit Professional. I think I've got one of these. And I also cheekily asked the lady if these little gift card tins at the tills, I can't say that, 
were for sale and she was like only if you buy a gift card but then she threw one in for me i thought they were so cute to maybe put like your business cards in or something but yeah i can't really open this without breaking a nail but i thought it was a really nice touch and i thought it was quite nice that she just throw it into my bag at the end but yeah so that's everything that i bought from sephora i know this is going to be a super long video but i asked on snapchat if people wanted to see some of the other things that i bought while i was away i did warn them that this would make the video super long so if you're just here for the sephora stuff you can turn off now but i just thought i'd show you a few other bits that i picked up while i was on my travels so first of all i went to this pharmacy called guardian this was in singapore i was just walking past and i saw that they had a catrice counter so i had to pop in and have a little look because i know that a lot of people rave about Catrice products and I don't think we can get them in the UK. But when I went to Venice about three or four years ago, I picked up some Catrice stuff and I remember picking up this powder. And I think I really liked it at the time. I'm pretty sure mine ran out because I used it so much. This is the Nude Illusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte. And I'm pretty sure this didn't leave my under eye area looking ashy. So I picked up another one to try out. And then I also bought three mascaras. I wasn't really intending to buy three. But I know that people rave about the Catrice glam and doll mascara and obviously while i was in the shop i didn't know which one was the cult mascara so i picked up all three in the hope that one of them is i picked up the ultra black and curl the purple tube um blackest false lashes that sounds great and i also picked up it doesn't really say it says volume mascara it's the one in the blue tube obviously but i will give them all a go let you know what i think and last but not least i have a little world duty free haul um as you can see still in its packaging sealed i haven't opened it up and in fact i didn't even buy this in asia this was from oslo so i thought i would just chuck it all into this video and hope for the best i will show you there's only three little bits in here if i can open it there we go i actually think i was really good i didn't go crazy this time around which is always a first yeah so i picked up this smashbox color correcting stick in the shade look less tired dark that sounds just like what i need as i'm sure you know my search for the perfect corrector after the bobby brown one continues i sound like i'm doing the intro for the apprentice lord sugar's search continues but it does <laughs> But it does, honestly, I just, I struggle with corrector and I just wanted to try something different. So I picked up the Smashbox one. It also has a free pencil sharpener included, which is exciting. And then I picked up something very exciting. I don't really own a lot from Clarins. I don't know why, it's not like I hate the brand or anything, but I remember at the time my lips were super chapped, not that I used this at the time. But I picked up one of their cult products, the instant light lip comfort oil that everyone raves about everyone in their gran this is the one that i picked up in the shade 02 raspberry i don't think they really have a shade um it's just like the smell of it but you know whatever um it's just a lip oil so i thought i would give that a whirl and last but not least i didn't realize this was actually a new release when i bought it i wanted one of the longcom juicy shakers but i realized that they weren't matte and then the lady was like, oh, why don't you try the matte shakers? I'd never heard of them. Turns out they've just been launched because I've been seeing them on everyone's Snapchat and Instagram stories as of last week. So I'm actually really excited to try out something that's just hit the market. But I picked this up in the shade 186 Magic Orange. Slightly neon. Don't think I realised it at the time. But this is what it looks like. So basically, it's just like the Juicy Shakers, but it's a matte formula. And you guys know that I'm all about that matte lip. I thought the packaging was so cute. It's like a little felt tip marker that you just sort of um, dig in. I think you have to shake it. Is that why they're called Juicy Shakers? I'm... Oh, that, maybe that's why they're called Juicy Shakers. I'm going to have to play around with this because it's very sheer like i don't think you can really see it but yeah so i'll play around with it and see what i think but that actually concludes my haul i feel like i've been rambling on for about 40 minutes editing this video is going to be such a joy <laughs> but i really hope you enjoyed seeing everything that i picked up from sephora if you would like any mini reviews on anything in particular then please do let me know also if you'd like to see any makeup tutorials using any of the makeup that i've picked up then please do let me know because i actually really miss filming them i feel like it's been about eight months since my last one i've got one coming up either next if it hasn't already gone up just before this video <laughs> so yeah i really want to get back into doing more makeup videos because i really miss them so please do leave me any suggestions down below as per usual but i really hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and all that jazz and thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye